Hey there guys, this is Steve Horseman with Good Guys to Great Men again. Thanks for showing up. I appreciate you tuning in each week. Today I want to make a very quick point about uh, being you. Sometimes why it's not good to be you. When guys say, I'm just being me, can't she take me as I am? That's just the way I am. Why can't she accept that? And I want to talk about the times when that is not okay. It's not okay. And let's talk about horses again. I always use horses. When is it not okay to be yourself around a horse? Well, if you're around a horse that has some baggage, and all of them do, you'll hear parallels here between horses and women, warning. When you're around a horse that has some baggage, and all of them do, you can't just be yourself if being yourself is kind of loud, if it's kind of dominant, if it's kind of impatient or urgent. You can't just be yourself around a horse if it's kind of uh, impatiently expecting stuff to happen fast. If you like loud noises, if you like moving quickly and slamming doors or crinkling plastic or waving ponchos in front of a horse's face, if you like to be just you, just the way you like to be, then you're not going to have very much success with a horse. I always say that if you can't accommodate the environment that a horse needs to feel safe and connected and joined up with you, if you can't accommodate the energy required from a horse in order to have it feel like it can trust you and feel safe in your, in your presence, you probably shouldn't get a horse. In that same sense, you probably shouldn't get a woman. Right. Because if, if you think just being you is OK in the presence of any woman and that she should be able to accept that and put up with it, you're kind of crazy, just like you would be with a horse. Now, let's talk about the other side. Let's talk about women who are demanding and loud and critical and demeaning or cynical or sarcastic. And sometimes they nag way too much. They're pointing out your flaws and criticizing how you do stuff and nagging why you don't think, do things better, why you don't step up, why you don't man up. It's an urgent, critical, dominant, pulling and pushing energy that sometimes women could do to men. And guess what? You freaking hate that. You hate it with a passion. You can't stand it. The only place you want to be when that's happening is somewhere else, somewhere away from her, right? Flipping the tables again. We get around a horse or a woman who wants to feel a sense of safety, who wants to feel a sense of connectedness, of trust, of patience, something that they could count on, something predictable so they can just relax, which is what horses and women really like, to just relax, to soften, to feel safe and grounded and easygoing. What kind of man do we have to be if we want to have a woman in our life that is is it feels safe and grounded and happy and connected and, and affectionate, right? What if you want a horse to put its head on your shoulder and to come up to you and treat you as if it's a, you're a very good friend? What if you want a woman to do that? You can't be yourself if what yourself is, is pressuring or critical or impatient or condescending or dominant or aggressively or violently pull, pulling and pushing either emotionally or physically, you cannot have any success at all with a horse or a woman. You will be totally ineffective if that is your natural state. So if we choose to have women in our lives, so if we choose to stay married and be in this one important monogamous, you know, exclusive, committed, romantic, sexual relationship called marriage, right? If, if that's what we choose, we're also choosing that we're going to have to learn some stuff in order to live in harmony in that marriage. You just can't expect that the other partner is going to accept you exactly as you are. And the problem is we don't learn much of this in our 20s and 30s and 40s. We don't have grandfathers or uncles or dads who are really good at teaching us these skills on how to be the kind of man who gets the kind of warm, soft, loving affection and attention from partners in his life. How do you do that? Well, that's what we talk about in coaching all the time. I've given you clues in this video video. If you do anything that creates tension in an emotional pulling or pushing of expectation, criticism, you know, condescension, you know, sarcasm, impatience, poutiness, right? Unhappiness, chronic unhappiness and negativity. That's emotional pushing and pulling. And the woman in your life would rather be anywhere on this earth, but with you, if you're coming out that way, coming across that way. So that's my, my hint for you today is if you want this, if you really want to be in this relationship, the very first step a man has to take is make sure he's being the kind of man who creates the kind of environment where women can soften and relax and feel safer and more connected, which leads to more affection and more closeness and more intimacy, which is what I think you all want anyway. 
If it's not, it's what I want. So again, I'm making this video for me, just a reminder for all of us that if you've chosen to be in relationship, make sure you choose who you are being and not being a victim of who you think you are. Have a great weekend, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.